said repeatedly during the campaign that you want to see Vermont Yankee close in 2012. You just announced this morning, we reported yesterday, that they are uh, looking to sell the plant. Does that create any chance of a path forward to them that could result in a change in your view of the need for the plant to close? Well, you know, I've been really clear about Vermont Yankee. Uh, the plant should be retired on schedule in 2012. We have a number of challenges there. We all we all understand that Energy Louisiana doesn't do business the way we do business in Vermont. I've made very clear that I don't trust them, and I don't I've never found that when someone breaks your trust once, that uh, if they don't tell you the truth, that they will do better the second time. Uh, so I've been clear about my feelings there. Uh, listen, that plan is old. It's tired. It has leaked. I understand that they're putting it on the market. I don't know if they have a buyer. But I've made very clear that I think the next governor's responsibility when it comes to entry to Louisiana is really two or three things. The first is to ensure that the promise is kept on the decommissioning fund, the cleanup fund. I do not want Vermonters who are feeling huge economic pain right now to have to pick up another $600 million, billion dollars, who knows how much, of decommissioning costs that Energy Louisiana promised us they would pay when they bought the plant. So we're going to hold their feet to the fire on the decommissioning fund. Second piece is the timing of decommissioning. You know, I am very concerned about jobs uh, at the plant. Uh, those folks are my folks. I was born and raised in Wyndham County. I know where I came from. I will never forget. And there is a huge difference on jobs if the plant is decommissioned after it closes, as promised by Energy Louisiana when they bought the plant. Uh, if they really do this safe store scheme and have the carcass of the plant sit there for 60 years while they wait for the decommissioning fund to magically fill up, I just don't think that's in Vermonters' best interest. When it comes to jobs, uh, if it is decommissioned on schedule, which I intend to have them do, it means that there are several hundred jobs at the plant while the plant is cooled down. That takes five to six years. Then there's many, many jobs as they spend a billion dollars, maybe more because of the leaks, uh, cleaning up the plant over the next decade. So from both a job's perspective and protecting Vermonters' pocketbooks against a company who I think would like to take care of their shareholders uh, rather than take care of Vermonters, we need a governor who's going to stand up and say, you know, we feel very strongly that promises made must be promises kept. As a follow-up to that, will you be appointing an oversight panel or taking other measures uh, to ensure that Entergy or whoever the new owner is of Vermont Yankee is spending enough money to operate the plant in a safe manner during the transition period to a shutdown? Well, we haven't, uh, you know, I really haven't given that much thought. I can tell you that, uh, you know, what, all I can tell you is that whether it's an old owner or a new owner, and I used to do a lot of auto mechanics as, as a teenager, you know, and I'd fix up cars, and like all teenagers, we'd sell them to our friends and go buy another one and fix up another one. And I never found that if I had a clunker, that if I sold it to my neighbor or my friend, it ran any better for them than it did for me. So we have some real challenges there. I'm cognizant of them. You know, I'm not going to speculate on what is. Uh, if there's a buyer, we'll get the details. But uh, let's focus on what we have to do, which is get Vermont back to work, create jobs, balance a budget, and put the infrastructure changes in place that we've talked about over this campaign. What do you Might think the new the owner, though, take away the trust issue that you, uh, you talked about with energy? I mean, First, uh, things like you know, uh, we all know that the challenges of the plant are not just trust. It's leaking tritium, strontium, cobalt, other substances. I have said consistently that it is my judgment that this may well be the most serious man-made environmental disaster in Vermont's history. Uh, we need a governor who can hold whoever owns the plant speak to the fire by ensuring that as those substances are settled, whether it's in the groundwater or other places, that the owner is going to make sure that they do the best they can to mitigate the cleanup and minimize the environmental and health and safety uh, challenges for the <coughs> What do you think of the timing coming the day after the election? Well, I'm not going to speculate on the timing. You know, it's a, as your governor-elect, I've got to be ready to deal with whatever's thrown at us. And we'll take them as they come. Can you 